Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here at Breeden Quarry and basically I'm here to talk to Tom who knows all about this. This is the Gammon Rock Hall. It is an amazing piece of kit. There's only one of these in the UK, isn't there, Tom? There is. And yeah. this is an impressive, really rugged machine. What is it all about? What does it do? Well, as you can see, it turns rock into a fine material. So basically, it grinds it out. Uh, this is really, really solid stuff here at Breeden. You'd normally blast this, wouldn't you, Tom? Yes, that's what they've done previously, but due to restrictions, they now have to look at other operations, which is where we come in. So these, these guys have been brought in, not just with this beast, which is the only one in the UK, but also with a dust extraction machine that we'll see behind me. Got another expert for that, so wait for that one, folks. But Tom, let's talk about this. Come on, let's go and have a look at some of this. So, first of all, I said when I first met Tom that, Tom, this was the front of the machine. I was wrong, wasn't I, Tom? This is the back of the machine. Correct, yeah. Tell me all about it. This is where the power happens, isn't it? Yeah, this is sort of the, the business end of the machine. On here, you have nearly 200 tungsten carbide tipped digging teeth, which basically, as we said, cut and grind the material into this, into this aggregate. So this means that this unit here, as Tom was explaining to me earlier, is able to dig shallow or deep depths, isn't it, Tom? Depending Correct. on the level of material that we want here, which is little bits in, in my book. And so this is, in, in particular, is an important part of the process here, isn't it? Because this is very valuable aggregate for breeding, isn't it? And they need this extracted, but there's offices there, there's a village there, so we've got to do it in a different way, haven't we? Correct, yeah. As, as you mentioned, the machine can dig anything up to 450 mil deep in one pass. A shallower and faster cut can give you a larger aggregate, but for Breeden here, they like a small dusty aggregate, so we dig a little bit deeper, slightly slower, and you can produce this sort of material, which is perfect for them. They don't have to crush it too much. It can be easily screened and processed. And what happens after this is the wheel loader comes marching in, doesn't it, Tom? Takes all of this material down into the quarry where it's processed and you guys can carry on then. Yeah. So what's the kind of tonnage you're doing in a day in, in, with this machine then? An average sort of production, we're looking at about 40 cube an hour, 80 tonnes an hour. So over your eight hour day, well, that's what you're looking at. Four to 500 tonne a day is, is what we'd like to do. Now you wouldn't expect that folks. I haven't seen this turned on yet because I wanted to catch Tom before he jumped in the cab. But this is gonna be fast and furious, isn't it Tom? You know, so let's go and have a look where Tom is actually sitting. So Tom, come around here for me and, and, and explain what's going on. This is the, the cab that you're in here, Tom. So tell me a little bit about the cab because there's something special inside, isn't there? Obviously it's an elevated cab which gives us a much better all-round visibility. Also we have cameras just for extra added visibility but in the cab you have the Topcon 3D machine control which is a massive benefit to this project as it helps us to keep a nice level bench the whole way across which lets us dig a lot more efficiently than what we previously did. So that's 3D machine control folks, you know I love 3D machine control working to help actually you not have to use your eyes anymore just use your screens to make sure that you're making everything consistent so that you're not having any issues then are you it's a smoother process isn't it correct yeah before the machine control everything used to have to be done by eye which was difficult it was a harder process to teach new operators and this just takes away that stress we know that we're producing a lot faster and more efficient material it's just it's just a huge benefit to us so folks the other huge benefit is the environment let's go and have a look because tom was telling me earlier today uh, that tom this is all about the environment here isn't it tom so we've got a cat engine in here what's the engine in here tom yeah there's a cat c13 440 horsepower engine if you think about it what this material is doing is breaking and crushing the material in one so it's one machine doing three machines job basically so the fuel load although it may look quite large at 60 to 70 liters an hour it is for only one machine if you tallied up the three machines that were doing all this process it would far outweigh this so it's more environmentally friendly and also we've got some super heavy ducting type material here um, that's taking all of the dust out of this machine, isn't it, Tom? Correct. How does that work and is that impacting the, the performance of the machine at all or how does it work? No, not, not at all. Basically, with the rock org, we've been in certain sites now where the rock and 
restrictions from site have made dust an issue. So we've been looking at ways that we can solve this problem. We saw the guys in Grydale in Australia producing these machines that you could attach to the surface miners and we thought that's realistically where we wanted to go with them. We made contact with them, Andrew Fanning, the managing director, came over, visited us, we made the discussions and it's where we decided to go with it and it's made a huge difference to us. You can now go to areas where you know that dust would have been an issue before and confidently say that you can excavate this rock and not have any of those issues. So that's it folks, this rock hall is doing something that has never been done before in the UK market, in this Breeden quarry here. So there's a number of factors here. It's the Breeden team that have recognised how to be more environmentally friendly and how to extract this very valuable raw material that they need to use for their key customers. You've got yourselves coming in as Gammon with a solution, it's not just a machine, it's a solution that you've created here and you've partnered with Grindout for the first time again in the UK to actually get this to be a superb, beautiful dust-free day even when we're in operation folks and you'll see that in this video and those guys that are behind here in the village no longer have to clean their cars with any dust because nothing's coming out and those guys that are in the office for Breeden can see this machine working straight from their window. It's a great solution. There's a lot of materials going to be moved here, isn't there, Tom? There is correct. So let's, Tom, get on with it.